Okay guys, so we'll start off in my entrance. I never know what to call this, an entrance and hall. It's it's very small, but it's the place where you enter my house. Uh, and I always do this in this corner. I have this cute Santa. A Christmas pillow. And this candle, it's a big candle holder, I don't know what you call it, uh, uh, with a wreath that's pretty lit. And I haven't gotten any yet, but here is where I keep my Christmas cards, or the Christmas cards that we receive. So this is what you see when you come in and around the entrance to the dining room I have this garland, it's actually three garlands, it's or four, it's two green and two of these gold glittery ones. And on top I've just put some poinsettias and some red Christmas bubbles. And on every door leading from the entrance I have these uh, heart shaped wreaths with these gold glittery bells. And here, this Santa is very sentimental to me. When I was a child, this Santa used to sit in the entrance hall of my grandparents' house. My grandfather had made it. And the clothes that the Santa is wearing, you can see here is from my father, my uncle, and me. The gloves are from me, and I think the cute shoes, which has a hole in them, is from my father. So, and it actually had a bit of a scary mask, so I have made uh, a new face for it. So, and my grandfather had a microphone inside or uh, in the back of the Santa and when every Christmas Eve when I came he spoke to me. He 
asked if I had been a good girl and what I wanted for Christmas and yeah so very sentimental uh, and I have these lanterns mm. Santa trying to climb up and in the stairway very simple just a Santa and a lantern and here as well I don't do much decoration here uh, the old sewing machine always is always there and I just put a faux poinsettia and some reindeer candles candle holders with candles and if we turn this way around my mirror hi guys <laughs> I'm in, actually in my Christmas dress, if you were wondering, uh, and it still fits. Uh, so around here I have this green garland and I've also found these uh, garlands with poinsettias. Two of those, just uh, kind of mesh them together. And you will see that this green with the poinsettias, uh, I have a lot in my house. So that's that. And here I just have this broomstick with a Norwegian, we call it Nissa. It's a kind of a small, not Santa, but yeah. And with some bells, I made this uh, many years ago. My grandson was wondering why, <laughs> why the little Nissa was riding on the Nimbus 2000. So uh, when he sees this, he thinks of Harry Potter. So yeah. But this was made long before Harry Potter was even a thing. Uh, for those of you who haven't been to my house, this is the cupboard in our entrance and uh, I have painted the motives on the cupboard. Okay guys, so moving on and this I made a video on so I won't go into detail here. I will link it below. This is our bedroom. And you probably also saw it in the entrance, not in the, in the intro. So here's... Uh, I used the bedding as a part of the decor. Blending two kind of beddings and these Christmas pillows. And I have some greenery snowman in the window and the star you see the Bethlehem star you see in the window I have in every window of the house above the bed a small a lit garland that we operated um, in my last video I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this wreath not very inventive I probably could have done more but just uh, some greenery and two birds on my nightstand I have this Riviera Mason candle holders tea candle holders and in the video no in the window sorry <laughs> I have this apothecary jars with a Christmas tree and some deers and on my dresser I have a flocked small flock tree with these birds oh let me see if I can because many of you commented on uh, the birds the, in Norwegian they are called Dumpa uh, in English they are called something finch Bull, bull, bullfinch, bullfinch, bullfinch. I think. Uh, 
and they are uh, kind of a sign of sign of winter in a way uh, and it's the male that has this red beautiful chest done it very simple here just some red flowers and some greenery and around the mirror I have this garland with these um, light bubbles and it hangs here all year so that's our bedroom and here So uh, I also have a video on this. This is my I made after Halloween. I made the Harry Potter room for my grandson. Uh, of course, or all our robes are hanging in here, uh, and the wall with the Hogwarts sign. Uh, I haven't done much new here other than putting up two of these small light, uh, small trees with lights on and this I couldn't find uh, and, uh, anywhere to plug this in but my grandson loved this this goes around it lights, lights up and goes around it's a train uh, and some small of the small Santa's gnomes and some Christmas pillows on the bed very simple I also decorate a bit in my bathroom we have the world's smallest bathroom <laughs> I sometimes uh, feel I, I I know we don't but yeah it's not a big bathroom so here I have just some Christmassy towels this is not God this is how we in Norwegian write uh, good so it's good and Yule is Christmas go Yule ha Merry Christmas those and on this shelf I've just done the same as in the bedroom put a apothecary jar up on a small tray uh, and some greenery some Christmas trees and in the window uh, some red flowers some greenery Santa with a sleigh that's a soap and some Christmas trees and I just took some old candle cal candle glasses and put some ribbon around it uh, just to make what I have keep my makeup in a bit uh, nicer Yankee candle and a Christmas tree so very simple as you can see it's <laughs> not a big room so that's our bathroom and then and I'll try to show you this is kind of my favorite view of the house when it's Christmas I think it looks so cozy it's a bit uh, glary or because of the light outside but yeah in night time it's really beautiful okay so here you come into my dining room and I didn't did not do a uh, decorate my tree with me 
This is what we call our American tree. Bella asked me, why do you call it your American, your um, American tree? And that's because when I started to decorate my tree like this, very few, if any, in Norway did. So, um, yeah, and I got the inspiration from Robson Design, so therefore I called it my American tree. I used to have this, this angel on top of the tree. Uh, my daughter hates it. Not the angel, but the angel on the tree. So this year I thought I would try something else. Uh, she thought this was even worse. <laughs> but I love this, this uh, kind of whimsical lightning topper. So I'll keep it for this year and maybe I'll get better next year. It's difficult to to show you but uh, it's a artificial tree now uh, I have red velvet uh, ribbon with this uh, red uh, glittery ribbon ribbon in a way as I've said before is not common to use in decor and I'm sure that of all the youtubers showing their trees I have the most expensive <laughs> ribbon and that's because it you, you it you can hardly find any and when I found it cost uh, 110 Norwegian kroner that's about 11 pounds uh, or 10 pounds per meter and I bought 10 meters so that's a uh, hundred pounds for some ribbon uh, and that's expensive but I want it so yeah it probably it has to last forever I think I just made these small balls of another ribbon and the as you see the color scheme on my tree is gold and red and green of course the tree is green uh, and as you see, I'll use a lot of poinsettias in the tree as fillers, and I love love it. Um, I bought uh, this uh, uh, potted faux poinsettias and just cut off the the flowers. That's uh, at least here. That was the uh, least expensive way to do it because I have a lot to my tree and underneath I just have these faux furs uh, or actually the one in front is real uh, and I have some small deers and my grandson loves this see if I can make it go I love this Maybe not the music, but... It's uh, sometimes <laughs> difficult to catch, but uh, yeah. So I have this train going around my Christmas tree. Okay, uh, I know that this looks awful, but uh, this is my kind of music corner where I sing and play uh, and I wanted to try to conceal all the mess so I just hung a curtain and I know it looks awful but this is temporary so I didn't want to uh, do a lot of work so yeah just did it like this this year and put some decor on top the angels and butterflies and greenery and a glittery reindeer and as you see on the other side of this garland I just put some uh, gold flowers and some gold gold glittery leaves 
uh, just to make it pretty from this side as well and this is my fireplace and if you have seen my my tablescape video you have seen this before uh, as I showed you I do it really simple this is removable as I showed you you can lift the whole thing off <laughs> uh, but again the poinsettias uh, some glittery garlands and some glittery and very glittery if, if you take a shot every time I say glittery in this video uh, you will have to go to the hospital to be pumped <laughs> uh, I have a lot of glitter in my Christmas decor uh, yeah and this red peacock I have a big glittery reindeer and some glittery mushrooms and as for now it's pretty warm in Norway to be for winter so I just put a blinking or f a twinkling light chain inside the fireplace it kind of looks like it's burning and I have some scented candles here and as I also showed you I have made this kind of cascading corner which I love it's, it doesn't come across on camera but it's much more beautiful in real life I found this kind of cascading glittery fantasy flowers I think it's fantasy flowers and I have these red Christmas bubbles and Santa in a hot air balloon and some gold snowflakes of course also glittery and on the chair just a Christmas pillow like that and if you turn around I, this uh, light chain hangs here all year uh, and also the flower been underneath here but I just now also hung this green garland and on the cupboard I've hung a heart shaped very very glittery these I think this is Riviera Mason if I'm not mistaken um, yeah I've done a separate video on my tablescape as I said it's so difficult to film and give a yeah the camera doesn't do its justice as I said a million times in that video but I wanted it to be a kind of a pergola feel so we made this big construction and hung it from the roof and it's kind of a ceiling or a roof for the table and on the table I have made a glittery wood with a lot of gold glittery trees and this ring there and a lot of glittery birds And as I also showed you there, I hung these wreath, wreaths on the chairs. And I also changed out my carpet throughout the season. So this is my 
very inexpensive Christmas red Christmas carpet and very simple also above the door to the balcony uh, just a green garland and some pine cones lights and poinsettias and in the windows if I can show you as you see this as I said these stars are in every window I'm sorry about the sad view you guys we had a lot of snow lovely white clean snow and but I wasn't finished so now and now it's gone this is uh, some decor I bought in Liseberg in Göteborg in Sweden uh, I don't know if that video will go up before my house tour but I will do we are going back we go every year and I will take you along again some poinsettias but these are glittery gold vase with a poinsettia so very simple and in my dining room sofa I have some dark green and red Christmas pillows which Julian loves because they are filled with uh, dune I think it's called in English the feathers of birds uh, yeah. and a more traditional Christmas pillow in the middle in this window I've done much of the same as in the other window uh, in my tier three tier tray I just put a lot of bubbles and gold glittery ornaments and Christmas uh, decor it's not neatly done it's just to give it a Christmassy feel couple of centers and for those who look really close and know my house well you have seen that before they hung a white clock here now there's a red this is a clock that my father-in-law had made and he had made two clocks for us and I painted one of them red and one of them white so I can change out for the seasons and here I just have a Christmassy throw Oops! Try to give you a kind of a swoop around the. This is a very small house and it's very dark outside, even if it's daytime, so it's difficult to give you a kind of good feel of how this looks but I think it turned out very cozy and very Christmassy okay guys so as I said most of my house is done in red and gold uh, except for my living room uh, here's a mistletoe that is not a Norwegian tradition but I thought I think it's cute so I have adopted it uh, in my living room we I have gone for a more uh, neutral color palette more white and silver and we can <coughs> start over here um, this is an old tray uh, from uh, my parents which I always have a uh, Christmas candy in it's a bit it will be a lot more <laughs> uh, and here I have my nat nativity scene is that what it's called I think so uh, Jesus Joseph and Mary and an angel and some trees I love this it doesn't quite go with the room because it's gold but yeah done it really simple 
uh, and I know that many says that uh, this is what Christmas is all about and of course it is for many uh, but I think it's also important to include those who do not think this is <laughs> this is what Christmas is all about uh, according to the historians Christ had a birthday in I think it's March or April uh, but since uh, we have always celebrated uh, a kind of Christmas in Norway it's now called Jul before it was called Jul that was a hidden tradition and I think very many countries have the same hidden tradition so uh, yeah I think it's important to include everybody you don't have to be a Christian to take part in this celebration I think you can celebrate winter or yeah life in general this is a lamp that's here all year round and these I bought when we went when we went to the uh, Christmas uh, collection opening in our garden center I love this it's a kind of an icicle uh, with a lot of uh, these small beads and I just put some small birds this is a small house and it's in use every day <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff and but I try to hide all our CDs with this two white garlands I don't think I uh, succeeded but I think it made it a bit better then I have this Santa display with a big Santa and a big white and silver glittery of course reindeer with bells around the neck a glittery flocked small tree and a white faux fur throw a present some snowballs and yeah and in my windows and I've done the same in both my windows I have these candle holders with the Santa and another candle holder and nutcracker and the ballerina from the nut uh, the opera or the ballet not the nutcracker um, and some years ago I made and these are difficult to film when it's light outside but I made these garlands which my husband hates because you don't think they look <laughs> Christmassy and I love them it's just a green garland with some white flowers and some glittery stuff I have one in each of these windows and of course if you have been following me you have seen the video where I make this palette heart which I still love and I'm going to make my daughter a star for Christmas so I have to hurry up uh, I know that some of you knows that we have had some trouble with Petter and now you will be happy to see that he is still with us we take it each day at a time uh, a couple of weeks ago we thought we had to let him go but we have started a quite a heavy exercise routine for this uh, old boy he's soon to be 14 years old uh, but it has worked so he's doing a lot better so we hope at least we can have him with us until uh, uh, Christmas is over okay uh, and I have these uh, light green and white pillows uh, this is one of my favorite 
corners of the house and again it's difficult to catch on camera but this is really really beautiful uh, again <laughs> I I tease my daughter that if this angel does not break until I leave this earth uh, she will probably have to put it up every year because this is one of my favorites I have a thing about uh, colored lights for Christmas I don't like it this on the other hand I think is so ugly that it's beautiful but my daughter hates it but I'm tell I tell her when I'm gone she will love it because I love it so uh, yeah she's kind of hoping it breaks before I I go <laughs> uh, and maybe it will I don't know okay uh, you have seen my Lene Bjerre these deers they are here all year round I love them I have a flock tree and some um, it looks like glass but it's plastic and they light up but the light is blue these two trees in the back I have my ladder which I have just wrapped two flocked garlands around and these white birds and some big white Christmas bubbles and I know that many of you love the twig uh, or the branch as do I I decorate this for every season and this is my Christmas decor it's light a lot of icicles in different sizes and some are these clear ones and I have these kind of frosty ones uh, and some birds I really love this and over here done it very simple just a couple of garlands cascading from the from this uh, shelf and a kind of frosty garland with the white bird it's become a kind of a disco and it's not a garland it's a wreath and it's become a kind of a disco wreath because for some reason the lights have begun to blink <laughs> that's another thing I don't like I don't like uh, blinking Christmas light I like it if it looks like the lights are uh, kind of twinkling or sparkling but not when it's kind of a disco okay um, and in this I have tried to make it go with the other windows I didn't have uh, uh, I, I had to use a different kind of a nutcracker uh, but you see it's the same kind of theme uh, this is what we call uh, advent stocker and I don't know if Probably this is uh, a tradition where you live as well, but it, at least in Norway it's common to have what we call an Adventstake and we light one light for each Sunday of Advent. And Advent is the four weeks be before Christmas, it's kind of the waiting period for Christmas. And this is my traditional and I called it my ugly Norwegian <laughs> Christmas tree and oh my god did you have uh, some nice comments uh, this is with my hand on my heart as we see in Norway say in Norway uh, not only am I in love with this tree because it holds so much tradition and memories but now as well every time i look at this tree i think of all the nice comments you left telling me about your traditions and uh, i just loved it so it made me love the tree even more but this is for those of you who haven't seen the video this is 
uh, except for the tree itself it should be a real green tree this is a flocked glittery uh, fake tree um, but it's decorated quite traditionally uh, and the reason I called it ugly it's because as you see the aesthetics here uh, has kind of taken a back seat uh, I'm not so concerned about the uh, the core matching it's more of a kind of a memory uh, memory down memory lane uh, everybody who has been here for Christmas have a bubble with their name on it there's uh, ornaments that my daughter have made that my grandson have made that I have made yeah it's a tree that bears a lot of tradition and Many of you said that uh, what you knew about what I called angel hair and and these kind of paper chains and and also the small uh, Christmas baskets, but the Norwegian flag or uh, having the flag on the tree was uh, not something you had in your tradition, but. Not many decorated trees like this now. It's, uh, I think most people in Norway decorate their tree in a similar way, but they have become more, uh, uh, more, um, yeah, they take, they, it's more aesthetically pleasing now. Uh, yeah. Uh, and my secretary which is kind of hidden behind the tree so I don't do a lot there and it's so full and I need the space so but this is always also a advent candle holder it's a reindeer with four tea lights holders here I've just wrapped uh, two glittery garlands and some glittery poinsettias I'm so happy I remember that word now. Uh, I made a small flower arrangement. Uh, yeah. A reindeer and some candy. This is kind of my messy corner. This is where I do my editing. So I have to have this. All this is going. We are uh, turning the whole house around someday. <laughs> Next year or the year after, but uh, yeah, so every, every all of this will be gone and the house will be different. Uh, you probably have seen me do something like this before. This is my kind of centerpiece for my uh, living room table. Again, Lennebjerre reindeer and some Christmas trees in silver. Just put some lights, some silver pine cones and some garlands in a tray that looks like it's wood it's not it's ceramic and my gold my heart-shaped balls which I love and you have seen before uh, this is one of my favorites this year I bought this wreath at a, a flower shop. It was not, uh, it has a lot of glitter on it. So of course it had to come home with me and I just added the bells and the lights and I love it. It's even more prettier in real life, really sparkly. Yeah, so that's my Again, small living room. I think it turned out very cozy and a bit lighter than the more dark red red uh, rooms. So, and the kitchen. Uh, I don't do a lot because, of course, we bake a 
lot to make a lot of food but uh, and if you haven't seen my house before this kitchen my and I'm sorry about the lights it's uh, LED lights flickering mm. I drew this kitchen and my husband made it and I love it as you see it's not a modern kitchen but we love it uh, these are not real gingerbread cookies but I think they look pretty real uh, I have some uh, big Christmas mugs and my apothecary jars which are here all year round this witch and I know it's ugly but <laughs> this has been in my family for generations when my mother was small they had a neighbor and this is kind of a bit mean but they had a neighbor that was a really bad lady and they say that this witch looks like her so and I'm not going to say the name but she's called Mrs and then the name of this lady <laughs> yeah and we and uh, it used to hang in my uh, grandmother's house and then my mother's house and now it's with me again uh, just a small flower arrangement and a Merry Christmas sign somebody asked me why we have so much signs and things with uh, American or English writing on if that was uh, common in Norway and it is Norway is a very small country and we don't make a lot of stuff here uh, so we buy from uh, other countries uh, and therefore a lot of the decor that we get has English writing on it so that's why uh, uh, Santa sign and Santa uh, yeah and last year this is my hot chocolate bar I saw this for the first time last year and made it for the first time last year and I was so in love but this year for some reason I just think it looks messy I don't know why oh, I want to love it but yeah but okay I'll take you through what I've done I've kind of dedicated this whole I don't know what you call this uh, cab cabinet to my hot chocolate bar uh, around the top just uh, uh, two small glittery garlands and I thought I had a terrific idea as you can see on the I don't know if you can see but on the windows of these cupboards I have sprayed and I'll try to put it here this spray uh, it, it's the kind of spray which you use when you make a Christmas window. Uh, I have so much clutter inside the, these uh, cabinets so I just sprayed the windows and it made it a bit less messy I think. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Uh, on this shelf I've just made a kind of a fairy garden or yes yeah, it's a Christmas scene inside a um, cake what you call this cake stand with a coach on top just a garden and a snowman I think the reason I don't like this this year according to my husband at least it's because it's too messy I have too much stuff but yeah uh, almost everything is to use in my hot, ch hot chocolate. I have this tiny fudge, f 
fudge you can put on, uh, mini marshmallows, some chocolates, uh, some peppermint candy. And down here I have some Christmas cakes, uh, more peppermint, and I found these chocolate spoons. Uh, I thought it was cute. So you can just use hot milk and you can stir one of those into the milk. And also these peppermint uh, peppermint spoons. Um, I actually was going to make, I may still do, but for now I bought a couple. I was going to make this. It's chocolate on a stick. The same, you can, you can just uh, pour hot milk and stir these in the hot milk. Big marshmallows, uh, the chocolate powder for the hot chocolate, some more peppermints, uh, candy canes, and inside of the, for the Christmas, it's gingerbread cookies. And again, this is a Norwegian sign. It says Yule. Merry Christmas. I was going to explain to someone how you say Yule. The U, we say it in, in kind of in the front of our mouth. It's U Yule. Merry Christmas. So that's my hot chocolate bar. Something we can share. Yeah. I don't know what I should have done differently to love it more, but yeah, it is what it is. And over here, I made a kind of uh, <laughs> uh, people have coffee bars and uh, hot chocolate bars. We also have a wine, and this is it's a kind of uh, a liquor called Akvit. That's uh, I, and I don't. I hate it. I don't like liquor, but my husband loves it. That with beer is what most people in Norway drink with their uh, Christmas dinner. Uh, I drink Coke, but uh, he loves that. So, and in this here is a carton of red wine. So we have a red wine bar and a good bar as well. And just some random. I think when I got to the kitchen I was kind of tired of decorating and uh, yeah, don't put so much effort. In this corner is just less. As I said, this is a house that is very much in use so and we don't have a lot of space so it's a bit it's a bit cluttery even though I have uh, decorated and tied it up and yeah um, I found this uh, these lights with these uh, ginger these cookie cutters I love them um, Just something to make. In, inside that door is my laundry room, where we will not go because it looks like <laughs> a bomb has exploded. Somewhere I have to just stuff everything when I'm filming. Uh, this is actually my house, uh, not cluttered, so yeah. Okay guys, that concludes my first ever Christmas house tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I said I was going to make my house a kind of a Christmassy cozy cave. I hope you got that uh, feel. Uh, at least for us living here, it feels like that. Um, if we get snow before I air this video, you will have seen our outdoor decor as well. If not, I want to wait because it's such a big difference, uh, the outdoor with and without snow. Uh, so if not, I'm, I will be making a 
separate video for my outdoor decor. I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season and from all of us to all of you a merry merry Christmas.